Welcome back to Good Day This Morning. Time for the Daily Liz. Halloween was a week ago already. Are your kids' costumes uh, shoved in a closet somewhere? <laughs> well, if there's not a chance that they'll use them again, on the daily list this morning, three things to do with your kids and maybe even your own gently used Halloween costumes. Number one, consider donating them to kids in need. The Halloween Helpers began in 2008 and takes gently used clean costumes uh, sent to their P.O. box in Pennsylvania. They look for sizes uh, for infants, children, and adults as long as they are appropriate. Uh, the team then sends them out to places like community centers, nonprofit groups, uh, shelters, children's museums, and uh, places like that around the country, and even sometimes around the world. So you Very can do something cool. good with it. Yeah. Uh, number two, try an online or in person secondhand store. Poshmark is uh, one of those online resale stores. Uh, besides your own uh, fancy stuff, they also sell Halloween costumes, which I didn't realize. Huh. Kids' Halloween costumes sell four times faster in September and October on Poshmark. But don't hesitate to list the item right now, like still after Halloween, and consider dropping the price way down since it's obviously not going to be in high demand. You can also take it to a thrift shop, maybe take a tax write off for that as a charitable contribution if it's a nonprofit organization like Goodwill. Mm -hmm. And number three, you can always turn to social media. Social media can be helpful in selling anything from clothing to furniture to electronics to fresh persimmons. Mm -hmm. I found that on uh, Facebook Marketplace yesterday. You can also check out prospective buyers' Facebook profiles before accepting sales to make sure that you're not getting scammed uh -huh. by somebody. And if you decide to sell on Craigslist, remember, cash is king there. They've got all kinds of warnings about what not to do when you're selling on Craigslist.